Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and her little brother Max. There before him in the snow was a strange, huge footprint. And another. And then suddenly our hero heard a sound. It got closer and then a gigantic shape arose before him. It was purple, gray and woolly. Yes, the story was true. It was the abominable snow bunny. <sighs> <laughs> and then, as quickly as it appeared, the snow bunny was gone, never to be seen again. But one wintry day, you might see strange footprints in the snow and hear a mournful cry. <laughs> <laughs> Could it be the abominable snow bunny? <laughs> oh, that was a good story, wasn't it, Max? Snow bunny! Not just a snow bunny, an a bunny bull. Oh. <laughs> The abominable, an abominable snow bunny. That means it's a great big giant snow bunny. <laughs> but don't worry, Max. It's just a radio story. It's not real. It's made up. Oh, look. The snow has stopped. Why don't we go outside and play in the backyard? <laughs> Snow Bunny! You know what we should do when we go out in the snow? We should make snow angels. I'll show you. It's really fun. Snow Bunny! Max, I already told you there's no such... <laughs> thing. Snow is perfect for making snow angels. Careful, Max. If you mess up the snow, we can't make them. Watch. I'll show you how to make a perfect snow angel. First, you have to find a fresh patch of snow with no marks on it. Then, you just fall backwards into the snow. Like this. And you wave your arms and legs up and down to make the wings and the angel's dress. You have to be very careful when you get up so you don't mess up your snow angel. I'm going to give her a big smile. There. Now you try, Max. Snow bunny! Okay, I'll just make another one myself. Bunny isn't real. Listen. See? No strange sounds here. Remember, Max, we're here to make snow angels, not to look for the snow bunny. <gasps> look at all this fresh snow. We could make a whole choir of snow angels. Snow bunny. All right, Max, but please try not to run through my snow angel choir. <gasps> snow bunny! <laughs> the 
up. Oh, do, 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 do. Snow bunny! <sighs> okay, Max. Show me your snow bunny. Yes, I see the purple-gray tuft of wool, but that could have come from any bunny. Remember, there's no such thing as a... Snow bunny! <gasps> hmm, those footprints are very big and kind of strange. But that doesn't mean they belong to the snow bunny. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation. <gasps> snow bunny! No, it's not the snow bunny, Max. It's me. All right. Let's follow these footprints and see where they lead. We've got to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> There's that sound again. Where did it come from? Ah! Oh, it's just you. <laughs> I don't know what that is, Max, but just because it sounds like a snow bunny and has strange footprints like a snow bunny doesn't mean it is a snow bunny. Look, Max. Snow bunny. <laughs> what is that? Oh, no. Max, wait. Oh! <gasps> Max! There you are! Grandma? <laughs> it sure is cold out here. That's why I've been trying to catch up with you out here in the snow. You have? What for? Come on, and I'll show you. I thought you might like some hot chocolate to warm you up. Was I right? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. You know, <laughs> Max and I thought we were looking for the abominable snow bunny. But instead, we found our snow angel. 